If you're tired of the standard business and marketing fundamentals, frameworks, and funnels, <laughs> you need a little mischief. Get ready to turn up the volume on the CEO Mischief Maker podcast, where you access conversations with seasoned business owners who have smashed through mindset barriers, innovated the standard boring business and marketing playbooks, and executed future-paced strategies with bleeding edge tools and tactics to micro fail their way into massive success and growth. We are Mindset Impact Strategic Catalysts, helping innovative entrepreneurs focus. We are CEO Mischief Makers. Ready to make a little mischief? Welcome to Friday. Um, this is really where, um, I don't know, this is one of my favorite uh, episodes to dive into because we get to actually apply the stuff that we've been talking about. And you'll recognize uh, the voice and the uh, image uh, once you turn it on of the incredible Tony Gremmeyer. And Tony, I mean, you have shared um, so many pieces of, of impactful gold over the last two episodes that I know we're gonna be able to now come down to ground level and now get into the weeds to say, all right, how can we take this mindset shift and go from archeologist and go through, I uh, can't wait for your book to come out, to uh, dive in and figure all this stuff out and dig into it, to who are you impacting and how are you innovating the, uh, the structure of the things that are important to you in life? And now, how do you apply that? So take me through whether you want to talk about your journal, whether you want to talk to your, about your book, whether you want to talk about your mentoring, but how do you take all these, these concepts we've been talking about and actually help people and also you apply them so that each step we take leads us where we want to go? Well, yeah, I love it. And I'll, I'll tell you, like, I have a segment that I work on with individuals saying, look, you've been in the forest for a long time. Let the crane of life come down and pick you up and show you the path. Because you could just keep walking in circles and you have no direction. But if I show you how close you really are, you would keep going. And, uh, you know, I have some great things that I've learned along my life. You know, never quit on a bad day. Some great yeah. advice. If you're having a bad day, it's just a bad day. It's not a bad life. Um, and, you know, just breaking this stuff down. And uh, one of my coaches a long time ago, you know, she... Uh, used to say, you know, you have this big thing going on in your life. Like to you, it's like the whole entire town is on fire, but the reality is it's just a small little fire and you can hold it in your hand. So you got to take the big problem and get it as small as you can and blow on it. And then you can deal with it. And so a lot of things I think is just getting it down to bite size. Yeah. You don't eat the whole elephant. You just take one bite at a time. So you look at everything you got going on in your life and you're like, well, Tony, how do I apply this? I'm like, well, start again. What do you want? What do you want? You got out of bed for a reason today. What was it? What is it? You married that person for the reason. What was it that you wanted? And in all my teachings, it's all intention. Like, what is it that you want? Not attention, intention. Like, what is it that I'm after? And for me, I was after self-discovery. I, I wanted to figure out the, the question I think every human wants to ask. And sometimes we don't. Is like, why am I here? Right. So in the very beginning of the three, the three archetypes in my book, we are going to talk about the archaeologist and the person on the dig. Once they identify what they want, they're going to try it on as an astronaut. They're going to play with it, see if it feels good. They're going to float up and down. There's like, hey, they can come down anytime they want, but they're not going to go too far from reality because if they do, they're going to run out of what oxygen. And when we do that, we die. Right. And yeah. then the third part, and we go into depth to all of this, there's lots of layers. And then the the third one is to become the architect of your life and to actually build and, and to create. However, you don't do life by yourself. We weren't created for isolation. We were created for connection. And so I need in my life, a team of really strong pillars to help hold up what I am building. So you need to find out who are the pillars in your life. And you know, when I break everything down, the forest is nothing but a bunch of what it's protection for everything that's living underneath it. Right. And it's just right. blocking from the elements of life. So we need some pillars to hold up some of what we can't hold all the time 
because we, we'll get tired, we'll give up, right? We'll get exhausted. Yeah. You work out all day, you'll have no energy at night. So you have to find what they call as balance. I don't believe in balance. I think balance is like a, a dimmer switch. I don't yeah. have one in my life. I'm all in or no. I'm all off. There is no yes. in between. And I, I think every individual needs to dissect that for themselves and figure out, do you know what the, like the barometer for your life is? Do you know the boiling point when, you know, if you push me to this level, I'm going to pop. Like mm -hmm. you need to know some things and nobody can teach them, but there is like things that you can do for an evaluation test. Take a piece of paper, write down as much stuff as you can remember in the last 90 days of your life, the good, the bad, and the ugly, just write it down. You know, went to Italy, uh, you know, went to Romania, got COVID like, so it's a good thing and a bad thing, right? Or they're both good. It's just perspective and put everything that you can possibly, but try to go from today backwards, not from 90 days ago. Try mm -hmm. not to use your calendar. Try to not use text messages or photos. Try to use your brain. And why I say this is because the Z through A exercises that I talk about in my journal and my teachings is really about helping your brain to be very focused on the here and the now and also on where you've been. Most of us don't reflect. We only mm -hmm. go forward. Yeah. We don't look back in the rearview mirror. We rip it off of life. And I'm like, some of my best memories are from like six months and later. So why don't I want to go like, remember those? So mm -hmm. Facebook uh, memories for me, yes. I love it. It's one of my oh, favorite okay. things. I go back and when I get up in the morning, I get my eyes on, I'm like sitting, I'm, you know, for me, it's a energy drink or whatever in the morning, I'm looking at how far I've grown as an individual. Don't mm -hmm. neglect your past, your past, all this stuff, the good, the bad, and the ugly all brought you to this moment right here on this podcast right now. Mm -hmm. All of those things in that particular order, those nights you couldn't sleep, those nights you were so excited to wake up, they all were necessary for this moment. And so I started thinking about, okay, how do I pull all of the stuff that I share with the world into a book, a journal, a podcast? I'm like, I just shoot the shit. I just shoot the truth. I tell you exactly how it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat life. Life isn't sugarcoated. It sucks. It's hard. It's difficult. You want to quit. I was there. I understand. I'm grateful I didn't. I was a million in debt. I didn't file bankruptcy. I just pushed through it. Like, how do you do that? Like, you have to ask yourself, are you going to, are you literally going to give up? You know, it's like the, the miner, you've seen the illustrations of life. He's in the diamond mine and he's so close to the end, yeah. but he turns away and the next guy comes and he's just more excited and just one more pick and bam, he finds the diamond mine. Um, yeah. under pressure is where diamonds turn from coal into something beautiful. You need to probably apply some pressure in some areas of your life that you've never gone through. And if you're saying, well, I keep doing it, Tony, but I'm not getting the results you are. I'm like, no, I, I'm just saying, Hey, you know, our journeys are all different. Right. Right. I buy a Tesla. You buy the same Tesla. We, we get out on the road. We drive the same amount of time, one hour. Uh, your battery is going to be a little bit less charged or more charged than mine. We're not going to be equal. Mm -hmm. Right. So if I know that today about myself and my surroundings, then I'm better equipped with my mindset to say, I can handle any tactic that's coming my way because I'm prepared for any obstacles coming my way. Cause I get up in the morning and I meditate for me. I read my devotional. I spend time listening to country music. I love it. I love listening to cartoons and voices. I do a lot of voiceover work. I love making people laugh probably by seven o'clock in the morning. I've made 20 some odd phone calls, <laughs> sent a bunch of texts out to the world. Um, that's, that fills up my cup. Right. And that's before I get my first cup of coffee. That's just because <laughs> I know what I need to survive and to be thriving today. Every individual may say, I can't do that. That's too much. So that's fine. Mm -hmm. Start where you need to start. But like the mo the idea is, you know, what makes you smile and laugh, do more of that. Mm -hmm. You know, some mornings uh, I got a text this morning and saying, you know, thank you for your text messages and thank you for your inspirational quotes and posts that you put out. It really helps me. And I said, good, because there's some days I don't want to do it. And they write back, no, just keep doing it. Right. Right. And the little thoughts in between these two years can tell me I'm the best and the worst within like a split second. It's like a personality disorder. Like it literally can go, you're crazy. <laughs> and what I realized is, is um, in the program of recovery, they talk about halt. You never want to be too hungry, never too angry, never too lonely, and never too tired. Yeah. And if I can do all that, then that means if I'm taking care of myself, I'm drinking water, I'm exercising, I'm spending time with my family, then I'm like in what I call the zone, the great right. athletes of the world, the Michael Jordans, the Kobe Bryants, you can list all of the ones that you want. 
there's a time when you're watching them that they're so above everybody else. And you're like, dude, they're just there. And I learned this a long time ago. It's been super helpful in my life. The moment you realize you're in the zone, you're out of the zone. I know. <laughs> Once you're aware of it, right? Right. So how, how do you stay at a heightened level without getting your ego too big? Because the moment you're like, oh, I'm going to make this shot. And you start talking and now you're in your head. You miss the shot. Yeah. You know, I can make this putt. And then it takes you four putts to get it in. Like, yeah. I'm really good at psyching myself up. And I know where I need to be today. And I'm like, hey, if I'm encouraging, not discouraging, if I have compassion, not comparison, if I show love, be love and give love, then I can experience love at a whole height new level, which you heard me in the very beginning on, you know, Monday show, that wasn't something I, I didn't know how to love. It almost killed me in my marriage because I didn't know how to receive it. And today I, I can receive it. And I can give it something that transformed by getting out of the weeds and realizing that the real beauty lies within. And once I, you know, change the way that I see the world, but I first have to change the way I see myself. And that doesn't happen easy for all of us. It, it's a very different journey. But once I was able to break all of these layers down and just get to simple truths, all life is, is a bunch of steps. And you have to ask yourself when you wake up in the morning, one question, am I going to take a step back or I'm going to take a step forward? Because if you don't do anything, then you're exactly where you were yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. where you were. But if you're willing to actually take a step, then you're moving in a position that can actually help you. So I just choose every day not to give up on my past. My past has served me. It's brought me a lot of sadness, but it's brought me an abundance amount of joy, right? My past is very necessary for me as I create my future. You learn from your stuff that you've done. They're lessons for a reason. The hurdles on my track today are very small. They're not trivial. They're not like when I was growing up, there's a game called pitfall. They're not like these big <laughs> giant things that you used to have to like get through. They're steps today. And when I'm mentoring or walking or working with somebody, I grab their hand. I say, hey, let's do this together. I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have somebody. So, you know, I'll end with this. When my wife and I got married on a Friday afternoon, because it's all we could afford at a five o'clock, you know, ceremony in Santa Cruz, California on July 24th, 1998. Uh, we had about 250 people there. Um, her, her family paid for the majority of everything. And I remember when we were putting the list together, my mom was like, who are all these extra people? I don't even know them. And I said, well, they're all the people who took care of me when I didn't say it in this way, but like, basically right. when you weren't there, these are all the right. people who took care of me. Right. So I'm honored to mentor people. And I, I, majority of my friends are older than me. Majority of my friends are older than me. And then the majority of the people I mentor are way younger. They're in their twenties and thirties. I didn't have that growing up in the same regards as I do today. They, they, they showed me how to fix a tire or build something in the yard, but they didn't show me how to fix my life. Right. And so I'm just trying to be a reflection of everything that I have seen later in like for me in sobriety. And how do I, how do I be a conduit to let that pass through me, not stop with me and give it away and then help as many people as I can. And Sean used to tell me, Tony, you want to go, you know, you should like want to like have a goal, like save a million people. I'm like, no, Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King, all of them just want to affect change in one. One. So yes. I just want to affect a change in one today, one person. So if you're that one person listening, you got something you like, drop me a message, like share, share how it impacted you, because that's the fuel that I need in my tank every day to keep moving forward is like knowing that what I'm doing is making a difference, right? I don't want to quit on a bad day, but I have them all the time. I want to move passionately forward. And, you know, like you, Mary, we met at a Mike Kim event. I met Mike Kim by accident through Nick, who was a guest on your show. I met Nick by totally like chance because my wife said, Hey, there's some dude during the pandemic lives in the neighborhood. You should talk to him. He's an entrepreneur. I'm like, I don't have any time for any more entrepreneurs. And the <laughs> next thing I know, five of my other buddies in the neighborhood are all teamed up. I'm like, all right, I'm in. And then uh, yeah. Nick and I ended up walking for like a hundred and some odd days together during the pandemic. And I just talked to Nick yesterday. Like we talk all the time and a lot of life is about just overcoming the insecurities we face and realize, don't worry about it. All the people you're talking to, they're not perfect either. So just pull your head out, have some fun, 
dig deep into it and, and like, just go for it because you know what? Life is just one shot with a lot of arrows. We just get to keep pulling them back and forth. And at the end, we're going to hit that bullseye and it's going to be over. But in the meantime, just keep pulling and playing and having fun. Okay, hold on. If your mindset was shifted, you were inspired to innovate and you were spurred into action, don't just move on with your day. Focus, my friend, and take a few minutes to visit ceomischiefmaker.com to learn more about the value that was shared with you today. Please act now and create some CEO mischief of your own.